Well, hello, welcome along, and uh, doing a bit more on the APT. Uh, I've done a few other little bits, but I'll show you that when, when the whole thing's completed. Um, I've started fitting the couplings, but I'm waiting on some more coming. Uh, so we'll do that another time. Today, we are looking at the pantograph. And as you know, if you look on, on eBay, replacement pantograph for these, you're talking, which is exactly the same as the 86 pantograph, you're talking about 50, 60 quid upwards. Well, I found something that will do the trick. I've got these off eBay two for about 11 quid so i've got one on here and i'm going to put one on my class 91 my Hornby class 91 because it's got one of them little plastic dummy things that doesn't move so i'm going to use the other one for that but i've got these for 11 quid they're ho scale but uh when it's on it's i don't think it's it's not going to look look that bad to be honest when it's on there but obviously um i can't use the the mount on the motor because obviously it, it, it screws in, I don't know if you can see that, it screws in on the bottom there, so I can't use that. So what I'm going to do, I've had, I think there's just enough clearance to put the screw. So what I'm going to do is try and, try and glue a piece of plastic on the bodywork underneath and drill a hole and then we can just screw that on uh, like that. Basically that's how it's how it's going to work I think, just, just screw it on there. Uh, like that um, and then I mean it's going to tilt with the body but you, you to be honest you don't notice the tilt of this thing when it's on the layout so I'm not, I'm not overly concerned about that I know it's not prototypical but um, as I say it's it's been a sort of uh, a refurb a refurb job so um, so I'm going to I'm going to get the body off and then we'll have a look and see how I'm going to try and find a piece of plastic that will fit in there and uh, see what else we can uh, we can do with it. Right, so I've looked in the odds and bits box now. If I have any broken chassis, I always keep, I always keep the bits, odd bits, because you never know. You always need bits of plastic for something. Now, if I, I can trim that, and then what we're going to do, we're going to glue that, glue that over there. Just like oh, if I move that, <laughs> be a see then, won't it? And I'm going to cut it to size, and then I'm going to glue it glue it over that or what i might do is just get a small piece and just glue a thin piece there put a little hole in it and then it's not you know because obviously it curves there so i'm not going to be able to get it curved but um i can cut a little piece off there that will just fit across that bit and just glue it there and there as long as i've got enough to hold it there and put the put the screw through it i think when the screws tighten up part of the pantograph will actually keep this uh up onto there anyway so i'll uh, show you when i've uh, done the uh, well cut it to size and uh, glued it on right so what i've done is a little piece of plastic across there just let it uh get it to that's better get it to focus it'd be easy wouldn't it so what i've done bit bit of plastic across there uh drilled a little hole for the screw and then we've screwed the pantograph on there like that so you know you've got the pan pantograph there and actually it doesn't look too bad when it's on um i'm probably not going to bother running it with the pantograph raised anyway um or put a piece of wire and just do it but till this glue and everything's set i'm not gonna i'm not even going to attempt to to touch it but uh it's all nice and nice and level and nice and square anyway so the next job is put the body back on right so we've got the body back on and i've given it a, a little bit of a, a run around the track and that that doesn't the screw underneath the pantograph doesn't foul the um foul the motor bogey on curves or anything so there we are we have the uh we have that bit done the uh, uh power car with its uh with its pantograph as i say i'm probably not gonna gonna run it in the raised position anyway um i don't want to touch it until that's dry till the glue's dry anyway but um i, th I think it looks all right in, in fact it, it actually looks better than the clumpy hornby thing um when you look at the class 86 uh because it's exactly the same pantographs what hornby put on the 86 i'll tell you what i'll just go and get an 86 make me 86 and i'll show you what i mean now this is this is the same pantograph that they have have on the apt and if you look i mean if you put them close to, you know, to let's put them around the, so they're both the same way around both pantographs if i can hold them the same way if you have a look i mean that looks a bit more presentable it doesn't look so you know 
Um, I may even get another packet because they're only about 11 quid for the pair. So what I might do, I may actually um, replace this pantograph with one because this is all knackered and fallen to bits anyway. So I may actually replace it um, with one of these pantographs because they actually look pretty similar anyway. They don't look much different to be honest. Um, but that, that, it just looks a bit more not not clunky and thing me so i may actually get another another couple of these pantographs and uh replace these i've also got um an 86 that's got that's got one of them plastic thing you know plastic dummy ones that that don't move or anything so i'm going to replace it so i'm going to get another another pair perhaps and uh do those as well so um so the next clip will be probably uh couplings so I've actually started on the couplings, but I won't go into that until uh, I get the rest. Because I've had to order another set as well. Uh, but I'll tell you about that in the uh, in the next clip. Right before we get to the couplings, I'll just do a little bit of a recap. Uh, if you've not seen the original video, um, the first video that I did on the APT um, revamp, um, basically what I've done is uh, I took the ringfield gubbins out originally and put a cd motor in it and uh it it, it was okay and uh it, but still that's a bit of bit of traction now the trouble is if you put a weight in here which you, which is be ideal because you could get um hang on see if i can find it this is the this is a weight out of a lima western now that would fit in absolutely beautiful and you know it would give it that traction but the trouble is then with the weight it won't tilt on the corners so Oops, it's knocking the, knocking the camera. Um, so basically what would happen is then it would just derail. You could probably um, get rid of these cam bits. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's like a triangle. It's like like a, a, a cam, so when it turns, it twists the body. You could probably get rid of those and then just have it so, so it didn't tilt. Uh, you know it means cutting the body away and messing about like that so anyway so i was looking for uh, a, a second motor which i found on ebay i found an apt motor so i then put a second motor in now originally i put two i put a 12 volt motor in each and just wired them parallel it was okay but i wasn't too happy happy with, with running so what i did was I took uh, the two six volt motors. I've got two twenty five. That's six volt motors in with, with um, voltage droppers on them. So what I do, I put the twelve volt motors in with twenty fives, and I put the six volt motors in here, but wired them in series. So initially, it's basically a twelve volt motor, and I found it, it it ran a lot better. So that's basically what I did. Um, it's just it was just luck actually that I was on eBay at the right time, and I spotted a. Um, an APT motor bogey and a trailing bogey, re reasonably priced. So I've got that. You could use the Hi-Mec, the Ringfield Hi-Mec uh, motor. The only thing is then you've got to drill a hole for the fixing screw. Be be because these are metal, you have a fixing screw that goes in. So you'd have to do that, but, you know. Um, so anyway, so that's basically what I, I did with that. Um, two six volt motors, wired in series, and that's basically it. And then of course, um, if, a little bit earlier on in this video, uh, we fitted the uh, we fitted the pan craft. Right, let's get on to the couplings. Right, if you have one of these things, you'll know that they've got this 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 coupling um, between this co this coach and the power car, and it's the same as the um, pacer unit. And you've got a to put it on the tr you've got to lay it down, you've got to slot it in, then you've got to twist it and try and get the whole thing on the uh, track. Um, these to the driving ends are not too bad because you can do these on the track you can you can slot them together but uh these these other ones uh you haven't, you haven't got a hope in hell you, you, you've got to lay it down and clip it together and it, it's just a pain and you get to the stage you just can't be bothered um on the old uh layout i had enough room for the fiddle to have it to extend the siding and APT had its own siding, the uh, Voyager had its own siding, and the Four Step had its own siding, and they are just isolated f from the main fiddle yard bit, so if I wanted to use them, I could do that. Right, so anyway, we'll get to the couplings. Now, um, hunt couplings, they do a set for the, for the new APT, right? And I did contact them, ask them for the uh, measurements, 
because I thought, well, you know, I can I can try that and you know see if they work. But anyway, so you get the you get two long couplings, and you get the short one, right? Now the long one goes on this one on here because obviously you know because of the you know, get it right, right away because of the length of the uh, the bodywork there. So you put the the long one on there, right? Now. Now, the short ones are supposed to go on this. However, there is a slight problem. Now, um, when you couple them together, <coughs> they won't. <laughs> they won't couple together. Um, simply because, for some reason, I don't know why, but on the older Hornby one, this must be more narrow, or the, or the coaches are, are shorter. I don't know. But anyway... It won't couple up no matter how you do it that will not couple up so what did i do i basically um you see that's a short coupling there and what i did was i put a long coupling on the power car as well so now if you see now don't mind i'm doing this on my workbench but they do couple up and it will and it will go round quite a tight i mean that's i mean that's you're not gonna have a curve that that tight but it, it does work i've actually tried it with that and the um driving end on it so anyway that will work now if you do this you're gonna have to get two packs of hunt couplings the apt ones because what you need you need two sets of the long ones and as far as i know at the time of doing this video you can't buy them separate so you've got to get two packs to get the cup the, the length of coupling you want i'm not too bothered with with these because i will find a use for them i can modify them to fit on another another thing so you know i've not sort of wasted it they'll, they'll, they'll come in handy for something else that i maybe need to put some magnetic couplings on so i'm not uh, not too fussed about that but it's a lot easier you don't have to you know twist that it literally just pops together like, like that so anyway uh, i've not I've not done this 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 power car yet. Um, driving my driving end, and, I, and I've got to change the one on this power car because, as you see, it's the the short one, the short one. So I've got to put the long one on there. So it's it's not too bad to do actually. Um, the only thing is the little circlips that hold these on are very fiddly, very fiddly. But when I did my CD motor conversion, I had some some metal circlips. The, the same the same. Uh, same, they fit it, and they're slightly bigger, so they're a bit easier to uh, put on. So anyway, I'll do a little bit, and I'll show you uh, with the coupling off how I've uh, how I've done it. Right now, as you can see, you've got this little circlet. I'll point it out with a screwdriver. It'd be easy to have my big fingers in the way. Um, so as you can see, you've got this circlip just there, right? Now, the Hornby one's smaller. Now, as I say, I'd add these off a CD motor conversion. Um, even with these it's still fiddly to put on but um, as you can see you basically just put that on in place of the normal coupling so um, it's easy to do it actually by taking the taking the uh, taking the bogey frame out actually it, it does make it a bit easier but you know it, it still fle it still moves flexes the same as what the original one did so right so I shall get that put back together um, and then I've just got uh, this other this other coach to do uh, it's pretty much the same way um, in fact I can turn that around um, <clears throat> see if you can see this but you see there's a little circuit there a lot smaller than the one that I've replaced it with and they are, them small ones are an absolute pig to get on so I don't know how they did it in the factory but yeah, trying to get it on it's an absolute pain so i use slightly bigger bigger circlips the same they fit the, the the little peg but uh they're slightly sort of bigger and easier to grip with a uh, sort of some uh, thin nose pliers right so now we've got the other um coupling on I think the best thing if these ping off the magnet catches it so you don't have to worry about, about, about losing the clips which is uh, pretty good. So now we have, I'll just move all my junk up here. Right, so now we've got, right, that's connect, that'll plug into there. And then this one, if you can see this, it'll uh, clip to that. So there you are, we've got the, the APT now. It's a lot easier to put together. As I say, these are not too bad. You, you can do these on the track. I'll just get one of the, um, 
cars, I'll show you. See these are not too bad. You can do these when it's on the track. You just, you know, it's just a case of just um, slotting them in, and then they they just just clip together like that. So you can do that on the track. Whereas some other ones, you have to lay the thing down. Then you got to clip these ones in. Um, right, I'll show you something else. I've done a little extra uh, with this as well. That I wasn't planning to do originally, um, but I will show you, and then I will we'll put this on the track. And I'll show it going around the curves, but it, I, I did actually test it with the power car and one of the um, driving ends, and uh, yeah, it, it and it and it does take it'll take my my curves a second radius, I think, and it takes them. So I'll just show you some little extra that I've done uh, with it, and then I'll show you it uh, running. Right, I've turned the lights off for this, um, but I'll tell you what I've done on the driving ends. I've put LEDs, um, I've done the same on my HSTs actually, and uh, it's just basically 12 volt uh, LEDs, and all you do is you wire them back to front, you, you wire, basically wire the red wire to the black wire, black wire to red wire in, in, in parallel, and when you turn it so it goes forward, you get the, the front lights, and turn it the other way, you get tail lights, and I've done that on the other uh, power car as well. Right, I don't have uh, enough room to sort of mount the camera um, where I put the train together. So I'm going to do it here, here on the layout. So what we'll do is right, we'll put these coaches together and you'll see what I mean, uh, how easy it is, how easier it is, should I say, to put it on the track. So you just put these on as normal and then you just, you know, you just tilt that forward and these two fit together, right? So that's that one, right? So we'll get the other, the other end and do the same because this 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 is this is the easy part and it's always been the easy part um with these because you know the you know they, they just clip they just sort of clip together the bogey just clips together um and it was it was connecting these to the um to the main power car that was a problem look at <laughs> these these nearly couple up themselves as well so anyway so we've got that bit so then we've got the power car and basically you put it on put it on the track make sure the coupling's line up and that one and that one easy that's how easy it is to couple up now um, so right this is I'm sure this is a second radius curve you have a look takes it no problem no, that doesn't derail um, right I've got a crossover actually in the fiddle yard I'll, I'll have, to, have to hold the camera and I'll show you how it goes over that so you have to excuse the shaky camera work here but as you see look, I've got a crossover so that's a medium radius to, to a long radius And then into second radius curve. Not a problem at all. Right, so we'll, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do it at speed, right? And we'll show, see, how, see how it does it when it's going at speed. I'm not sure, I've never tested it at speed, but you'll also hopefully see the um, the headlights working as well. There you are. Straight around that corner, no problem. And we'll do it again. Look, full speed. And that is a second radius curve. I mean, that's the same radius as I'll just walk it up the layout. It's the same radius as this curve here. The curves at the end, of, the end of the layout are exactly the same radius. But as, you, as, as you can see, it takes it no problem. Um, so yeah, that's my APT finished. My APT refurb. Uh, got the looks better with a pantograph on there and the graping hole that was on there before. Um, head and tail lights put on um, because it just used to have the, the white lights in in the um, direction of travel. So it's just basically uh, two 12 volt 
pre-wired LEDs and all you do you just literally just wire them back to front you, what you do you get the get a red and a white LED and you do the red the red wire to the black wire on each one so the red wire of one of say the white LED to the black wire um, of the red and then the red of the black uh, the white LED you, you know how it goes anyway and then of course when you turn the power power whichever way you turn the power it um, Obviously, that one lights up. You've got to make sure, obviously, you're on the way round because otherwise you'll put it forwards and uh, the red light will show. But that's how I've done it. Simple. No no sort of um, electronics or anything like that. No, you know, it's just... Uh, it's, I think the LEDs are only about three or four quid for a pack of ten uh, off eBay. So, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, APT revamp that I've done. And um, till the next video, thanks for watching. And bye for now.